Hey what's going on guys, it's Akhil here and this is the best smartwatches right now in no particular order. So starting off the list, we have the second gen Moto 360, for the previous gen that is the first gen, they gave an outdated TIO map chip, but this time we have got a quad core Snapdragon 400 chip clocked at 1.2GHz, an Adreno 305, 4GB of internal storage, 512MB of RAM, a heart rate monitor, which has sort of become a norm on smartwatches right now. And it's also got wireless charging. There are basically three versions, a small version and a women's version which have a diameter of 42mm and a large version which has a diameter of 46mm which is the same as the previous version. Talking about the battery life, there is a 300mAh battery on the 42mm versions and a 400mAh battery on the 46mm version. Putting all those things aside, what's new is that you can customize it in your own way using Moto Maker. You can have a textured bezel with different case colors and choose which strap you want and you can also easily swap out these straps with the lugs present on the strap. On top of that, it isn't over yet, we have a new sport version which has got built-in GPS and a really unique looking display. So next, we have the LG Watch Urbane 2nd edition. The initial LG Watch Urbane was pretty good and popular for its good looks but the new one is the first smartwatch in the world to connect to 3G and LTE networks and have the ability to make phone calls. This means you are gonna be popping in a SIM into your smartwatch and it is gonna be a nano SIM. It's got polished stainless steel housing which gives it a strong build. The screen diameter is 44.5mm and is said to be having a P-OLED display with 348 pixels per inch and a battery bigger than the 2nd gen Moto 360, it is a 570mAh battery. So next we have the gorgeous looking Huawei smartwatch. It seems like Huawei has done most of the things right, it's got the latest Android Wear OS. The watch has been made out of really good quality materials. The housing has been made out of stainless steel, the straps have been made out of leather. If you want to make it as close as possible to making it feel like your very own classic analog watch, you can also slap on the 18mm straps from, from your analog watches. The display is a 1.4 inch AMOLED display with 286 pixels per inch which accounts to a resolution of 400 by 400. The display is covered by sapphire crystal which makes it almost completely resistant to scratches. It's got a 300mAh battery with a Snapdragon 400 processor, half a gig of RAM, 4 gigs of internal storage, a heart rate monitor and no wireless charging but you charge it using magnetic pucks. Next, we have the Samsung Gear S2. It is the first round smartwatch from Samsung. It's got a really new and unique way of you interacting with it, a rotating bezel and which is claimed to be one of the smartest way to interact with a smartwatch. So when you are using this rotating bezel to interact with the Gear S2, well you can also use the touch screen but you do not block any part or portion of the display while using the rotating bezel. The housing has got a brushed metal finish. There are two versions, a standard version and a classic version. The display is pretty sharp and bright, but it doesn't run Android OS. It runs Samsung's own software, so you don't have access to much of those apps which you have on Android Wear. So on and overall, Samsung has done a great job with its smartwatch this time, but that is definitely pulled down due to the software. But that said, the basic things you would expect from a smartwatch like viewing notifications is fulfilled. You can also reply to messages straight from it. So lastly, we have the Apple Watch which is the first wearable product from Apple. Even though it is a bit on the pricier side compared to other smartwatches on the list, I'm assuming you know the estimated prices of the listed smartwatches, it's got itself the required amount of attention. So initially, the Apple Watch wasn't on my list, so in the confusion of whether do I put it on the list or not, I conducted a poll among my classmates. And the Apple Watch is more popular among women than it is among men as per the analytics of the poll conducted. So anyhow, the Apple Watch has got a few neat little features. It probably looks better than other smartwatches on the list. Well, it depends on the way you judge. It's got a heart rate monitor and sapphire crystal covering its display. It's real sapphire crystal and it's really awesome that Apple was able to cut out the sapphire crystal in such a way. But there's a downside. The Apple Watch cannot work with your Android phone. Well, the Android Wear OS lets you link your Android Wear smartwatch with iPhones, but that's not the case with Apple. The bands on the Apple Watch are interchangeable, you can swap them out with the various band options Apple provides or else use third-party manufacturer bands which are comparatively cheaper. It's got a knob on the side which Apple calls the digital crown which lets you interact with your Apple Watch partially not blocking the screen. So the apps on the Apple Watch are not standalone, they are the apps which you have installed on your iPhone which have the watch compatibility. 
So the Apple Watch has got force touch which means that the Apple Watch screen is pressure sensitive and when you apply the required amount of pressure you are presented with a whole bunch of options for other functions. You cannot use third party watch faces. You cannot. It's got a good looking AMOLED display while still most of the smart watches on the market have got a LCD display. So the colors are pretty crisp. The battery capacity on the Apple Watch is only 205 mAh which is really small as compared to other smart watches but still it's got its own awesome features. If you are an ardent Apple fan you are pretty sure that you are gonna buy it or else if you wanna wait look out for the second edition of the Apple Watch. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to leave me a thumbs up down below and make sure to subscribe to my channel to watch other amazing content from my side. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.